Good evening, everyone. It is Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another one of my Vintage Live sales where I share 25 items with you all with the hopes that you will purchase them from me. I have a great assortment of items tonight, or at least I hope you all think so. I do have some things that didn't sell from last week, but I will probably share them at the end of the video before my offer ups. I hope you all had a great week. It's been a little crazy here, but all is well. So we have, sorry if I'm out of breath, I've been running up and down the stairs. I've got Michelle Lee. I see Jewelry by Denise, hello. Pama Bama, hello. Make sure you all check out her sale after mine. And Trisha from Sandy and Auto also has a sale after Pam's at 10. I do have their channels linked down below, at least I think I remember to put them in. So make sure you all check them out. I'll be on for a little bit. I've been getting into a better routine with my sleeping, so I'm not as tired. But yes, make sure you all check them out. We got Lois Hoover. I see Steve. You better be eating because you told you, us you were doing that at D sale. <laughs> see Jeffrey Ross. Doug Grimes is here. Mamacita is here. Sandy Four. We've got Joanne Precious Lavender Buttons. We got Randy Heilman. I hope everyone's doing well. I know last week was a little chaotic because, you know, for the first time in a year, people were able to graduate and actually have ceremonies and things like that. Helen Casey is here. Thank you all for joining in. We're going to wait a little bit of time before I start sharing things with you all, and then we will jump right in. So if you are new here, what we do is we sell 25 things. 20 of the items will be flat price goods. So basically with that, first person we see on our end is who gets that item. With offer ups, that's when I put in a starting price and then the person with the best offer after a certain period of time will win it. We don't time it on this channel, but we wait a little while if we don't see any offers within maybe like a two, three minute period, we will go ahead and start calling it and then the person with the highest offer wins. Make sure that you all are mindful of where you are located in the US or in Canada. Shipping to California, Texas, or Canada can be quite pricey depending on the size of the item. I've had items go to Canada with like very little weight, like three ounces cost $13. I hate having to charge that, but unfortunately that's just how it is. Trust me, none of us like having to charge you all 13 bucks. It's, it's not fun, but we have to do it. I feel like there's something else that I forgot. Oh yeah. Make sure you all are set to live chat and not top chat to get the most accurate results. I feel like there's something else that I'm missing too. Hi, Karina, Tarnished Treasures. Am I missing something? This is why I hate having or not having my rule book with me or like my rule sheet because I always miss something. Oh, I actually remembered it this time. So when we're doing the offer ups, just make sure that if you are out, just type out in the chat. It's much appreciated and helps us keep track better. I see Tammy Renee Walker is here. Hello, Michelle Lee. Oh, I said hi to you, but hi again. <laughs> okay. Let me make sure my desk down here is clean or at least flat enough for me to put stuff on because instead of putting stuff on the floor that's sold, I'd rather put it here so that way Nothing gets broken and I don't trip on it because I am notorious for that. Alrighty. I see Peterson and Patricia Gesner just popped in. Hello, hello. Whew. I'm getting a little warm. I don't think we have the AC going in this room. <laughs> And I see Sue is in the chat. Hi, Sue. And I'm sure Tom is going to be following right behind her. Ooh. I am recovering from, I don't even know how I got it. I don't know if it was um, prickly heat or what it was, but I was itchy for like the longest time from like my arms and on my hands. I had a bunch of bumps. Thankfully, they're gone. I don't even know what caused it. It could have been allergies or something. Man, it was awful. 
I see Barbara and Bundo. Trisha's here. Again, Trisha's sale is at 10 after Pam, so make sure you all go to that afterwards. Trisha's got great stuff as well as Pam. Who else do we have? A Kylie Cat. We've got Michelle from Emancipation 300. Oh, Tom's cooking dinner. Well, Tom, cook us something good. Sometimes I feel like this chair is either comfortable or it's not. <laughs> So I hope you all had a great week. I know that Laura, Mary Beth, AKA Ruth Ann and Dirty Fern, I know that she just, um, her grandson was just born, what, a couple days ago. I didn't get a chance to watch Flippin' and Sippin' last night because I was, I had to be up at seven for work today. So I felt like just getting some sleep and made it easier for me to get up in the morning. Yeah, I know, Nate's making lasagna. I don't know how he'll do it, but he needs to send me some. Oh, and Patricia's granddaughter came yesterday. Congrats. All right, so... Oh, boy. It's going to be difficult to decide what I want to start with because I've got some pretty neat stuff here. At least I think it's pretty neat anyway. Okay. We can start with this. Let me just take the tag off. All right, so. Yeah, that was some sticker residue on it. So I know that 4th of July is coming, and I know we just had Memorial Day not that long ago, but I do know that people like their patriotic stuff, and I thought this was really neat. It's an old paperweight, and it has a picture of the Capitol building in it. Is that going to focus? There we go. Really neat. It says the capital in it. There is one minor defect right here. There's like a chip in the glass. But I don't know if I did it or if I bought it like that and didn't realize it. It was a little sharp, but I took a nail file to it and I smoothed it out. So it's not sharp anymore. It's completely smooth. Like I'm rubbing my finger over it and it is not, it's not dangerous. Good size, and you can definitely tell it's old by the back of it. And the paperweight is $6, and it's number nine. $6, number nine for the Capitol Building paperweight. I think what they did is they glued a picture of the Capitol into the glass. I think it's really cool. Hey, Tony, butterfly nurse. So six bucks, whoop, number nine, whoa, for the Capitol Building paperweight. So I see Mo official is here. Hi, Mo. So I see Mo Official gets number nine. Thank you very much. Ooh, Katie's here. Hello, Katie. I popped on to your vinyl haul, but I think I passed out for about a, an half an hour. I've been up since 6.30 this morning. I see Will's Thrifting. Or, oh, no. Changed his name. Will's Vintage Treasures and Vlogs. Not Will's Thrifting Ventures anymore. Hello. I see Daniel from Tacky Is Me is here. So... If you all remember, probably about a month ago, I was out in Pennsylvania, the Chambersburg area, and I went to Shire's Market. If you don't know what that is, it used to be a furniture store years ago, and it recently shut down within the last couple of years, I think right before, no, probably a few years before COVID. And they turned it into like a boutique antique store type place. And one of the booths had a bunch of different postcards. So I picked up three different lots of them and I went through, picked out the ones that I wanted and I have groups of them that I'll be offering to you all over the next few sales that I do. But since it is summertime, I have some beach postcards and who else just popped in? Oh, Rand oh, I said hi to Randy. I see Jane Newhouse. Hello, Jane. So before I tell you all the price of these, I'm going to show you each one of them. I have this main postcard. Now, these are not like terribly, terribly old. I would say maybe 70s, 80s, possibly. 
I like the look of that. Greetings from Maine. If I've got any fellow Mainians in the chat tonight, this would be great for you to frame. We've got this one for the Queen Mary for Long Beach, California. And where's this? This is Cannes. Cannes, France, I guess, uh, from 1971. Really nice image of the beach. I can see these being framed and hung up on a wall. Book Bewitched is here. Hi, book. We've got, this is from Michigan. Got a guy and a gal playing with a beach ball on the sand. And that's probably 70s, I would definitely think. 60s, 70s. This one is, it says, typical waterfront scene in shrimping season. Oh, Moorhead City, North Carolina. The Polynesian Cultural Center in Hawaii. If they're not written in, they don't have a date. That's cool. Very tiki-ish. I love the hula girls. Very cool. And this is just an image of... Um, People, it's Las Islitas Tranquillas, Playas de las Islitas, San Blas, Ne, Mexico. What a great picture of people in the water and on the rocks. Hi, Stacy. I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're well. And Dean Oliver's here as well. Hi, Cindy. And I think this is the same thing in Mexico. Oh, no. Waikiki Shell. Capialani Park at the foot of Diamond Head. This is a really nice picture. This is the Florida sunset from 1982. I wish it would say where it was from. Because it doesn't say what. Yeah, even in the postcard, I don't... Oh, Fort Myers. Oh, no, it says, we plan to go to Fort Myers. I don't know where this is from, but that's a nice picture. Did you really, Sue? Well, that wasn't that long ago, was it? Only a couple years, right? And I like this one. This is from Daytona Beach, Florida. Look at that. Bright blue sky. I like the scalloped edge. It makes the postcard not so sharp. This is from 1976. Look at that. And that is 10 postcards that you will be receiving in this lot for summertime. And you are going to be getting 10 awesome nautical coastal postcards for $8. And if you'd like them, just put in number seven. $8, number seven for the 10 coastal postcards. I see Jeffrey Ross for that. Thank you very much. Well, in my mind, Sue, it's only two years ago, I guess. Okay. I'm trying to pick some newer things out that I haven't shared because I have to have some repeats here. Okay. Oh, yes. Speaking of summer items. I have a really nice black and white fish paperweight. I think this is an angel fish, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it's that old because I think there was residue from a barcode sticker on the bottom. Or maybe it's from a gift shop. I don't know. It it doesn't uh, didn't tell me anything. It was just sticker residue. What's amazing to me is the fish's, I guess what you could call it, the nose. I don't know if it's chipped or not. It feels a little rough. but Overall, it's in really good shape. It's not a very big paperweight, and it's not very heavy either. So that'll cut down on the shipping cost for sure. And it's really nice 
no major cracks or chips. It is a little rough on the nose again, but it's not sharp. And the fishy paperweight is $8 and it's number 25. $8, number 25 for the black and white clear glass angelfish paperweight. You despise autocorrect. I think we do all do. Okay. Running with the theme of fish, I do have a pottery angel fish. I think this is an angel fish. I don't know if that one was either. I can, I know I don't know my fish types. I'm not a uh, a marine biologist. So this I just picked up recently, or at least I shared in a haul recently. It's a pottery, I think this is an angelfish, ashtray, but it could be used for coins or whatever you want it to. Or Peterson suggested that you hang it up on the wall and maybe put an air plant in it, which I think is a really great idea. I would keep this, but the pottery look is just not for me. I like more of the, you know, like a, coastal blue kind of a thing. It's a good size and I don't know if I brought my tape measure in here. I don't think I did. Rats. Because I could have measured it for you all. Now I did pay up for this. I do want to let you all know that so the price might be a little bit more than I typically would ask but because I paid up a little it's got to be just a tad bit more. But it is older. It's made in Japan. It's got the Made in Japan sticker on the back. I think this sticker dates it to probably the 60s, possibly. But I could be 100% wrong with that. It's a decent size. And again, really nice. No cracks, no chips, no repairs. And the fishy ashtray or air plant holder can be yours for $14. And it's number 12. $14, number 12 for the Angel Fish Ashtray Air Plant Holder. Yeah, they're not really my thing. I mean, I was attracted to it for, you know, the fact that it's coastal, but I would rather somebody else enjoy it. And I see Jeffrey Ross again picking that up. Thank you very, very much. You will really, really like this. See, I like the colors of the chalkware fish. Now, granted, I do have some black and gold chalkware fish, but I do like the ones that I see all over Instagram and things like that. That's what I would really like to have. And I'll find them eventually. Okay. So the next two items, I think, are very much up Katie's alley. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know, I did my first premiere on Wednesday, and that was really, really fun. I might start doing... um every Wednesday. Do you guys think that's a good idea or do you think I should just stick to uploading it to midnight or uploading them? Well, they, they're they set to be um, released at midnight, but I I think it's more fun to do the premieres at least once a week. That way I can interact with you all and we can talk about what I've got. So I have this yellow Okanite tape tin. It's marked Okanite trademark it was in Passaic, New Jersey, which is where Coca-Cola trays were made back in the early 1900s. I like the look of this one. It's got the old rustic look to it. And, you know, the patina and everything is really nice. Let me see if I can open it up. Oh, boy. I might break my fingernail trying to open this up. Mm, nope, it's not budging. But yeah, definitely a really cool piece. You could put this out at Halloween time or even spring because is yellow considered a, a fall? Yeah, it is. Candy corn's yellow. Duh. That is a nice piece. And this Okanite tape tin can be yours for $8. $8 and it's number 20. $8, number 20 for the Okanite tape tin. 
Oh, thank you, Dean. I appreciate that. Do you, Sue? That's awesome. Yeah, a lot of the Coca-Cola trays that I collect, uh, at least the early 1900s ones, are marked Passaic, New Jersey, like some metal company. I can't remember exactly. Artwork, Inc., something like that. And then we've got this one. This one's Tuck Cellophane Tape. I really like the look of this one. It's more red in person than it is coming up on camera. But it is nice. This one was made by the Technical Tape Corporation in New York, New York. And this one I think is dated and that is upside down. I thought it said 56 somewhere, but I think I might be wrong. Thought it said 1956 on here. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'm not going crazy. I think that means 1956 right there. I think that says June of 56, because it says date packed and manufactured. Yes, the Coke trays are fun. Did I price this one? I thought I did. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> and this one too is $8 if you're interested, and it's number 16. $8, number 16, for the Tuck brand cellophane tape tin. I'd never seen them either. That's why I grabbed them. Those I showed last week. I've had this puppy for a while. I've been... Meaning to put it in a sale, but I keep forgetting. I do like some of my fried food. I feel like I just tried something new that was fried. Oh, no, we have a gas station around here that serves food. I don't know if any of you all have heard of AC&T. But that's one of the many gas stations that we have around here. And when we've got AC&T, we've got Sheets. We have... Do we even have Exxon up here? No, we have two BPs when you get off the highway. And then no shell. I haven't seen any shells around here. Anyway, I have this planter here, and I'm really digging the minty green color. The camera is not doing it justice. It's a little bit darker than what the camera is showing. Here's the inside. There's no cracks, no chips. It is marked on the bottom CP1263 USA. And it's a bit of a larger size. Again, I wish I would have remembered to grab my, what just fell? Oh. My tape measure because I, I like to tell you all how much or what the dimensions are, but for whatever reason, I rushed. So this is a pretty good size. You could put a bunch of air plants in here. Heck, if you wanted to actually use it for like paint brushes or things like that. And there are no cracks or chips to it. And this really awesome mid-century planter can be yours for $18. Hi, Irene Fink and Mazzy. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to the chat there. So this planter is $18, and it's number seven. $18, number seven for the really awesome mid-century green spackled white planter. Deep fried Oreos with Nutella sounds really good. Oh, Sandy Four. Thank you, Sandy. Very much appreciated. You got that, Mom and Dad? Sandy Four is getting the planter. Excuse me. Now, I'm not really sure on the age of this guy here, but... It is coastal because it's a whale. Look at him. It's like one of those scrubby holders. Actually, it's not like one of those scrubby holders. It is a scrubby holder. There's no markings on the bottom to say who made him. I wonder if this octagonal, actually, I think it is part of a tag, but there's nothing. I can't read it because it's been faded away. No cracks, no chips to them. 
He would look great in the bathroom if you put a bar of soap in him or if you want to use him in your kitchen. Or heck, if you wanted to put jewelry in here, put it on your dresser, you could do that too. And it's this pretty small piece. It's not too big, so that can definitely go first class. And the whale can be yours for only five bucks. Five dollars, number 24. Five dollars, number 24 for the whale. He's real cute, guys. Or if you are into collecting like beads and stuff, put some beads in there. My mom is from the Midwest, Katie, so cheese curds are like crack where she is from. And I see Irene Fink picking up number 24. Thank you very, very much. Let me put these all over here so I don't confuse what didn't sell versus what did. Okay. I have a really cool bottle. Again, this was something that you all saw in my premiere. I think it is a whiskey bottle according to, I think, who was it that told me? Maybe it was... Mr. L. Page, who said it was, it says half pint, federal law forbids sale or use of this bottle. It's got what appears to be like a faded blue and brown lid. But that's still really cool. I mean, I liked the fact that it said federal law on there because that's, I just thought that was neat. That's what attracted me to it. This would be great to display at Halloween with the amber color. Hi, Stephanie Verge. No cracks, no chips, just some fading to the paint on the bottle cap here, but still a really fun piece. And the bottle is $6, and it's number 18. $6, number 18 for the really awesome, I think, old school half pint whiskey bottle. And again, this is rather lightweight. It's not too heavy. So if it's the only thing you buy for me tonight, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to ship. That there. Okay. Uh... I'm always terrified when stuff moves or shifts when I'm not expecting it. This is a really fun piece. Summer is here, guys. So I know that, especially this year, because we are getting so much better with the pandemic, we're able to hang out with friends, go to restaurants more. But I thought you guys might like to serve beer or drinks on this really awesome Schaefer beer tray. It's round. And it does have some issues. I mean, it is vintage, but it's still really, really neat. You could hang it on a wall even if you wanted to. On the inside here, like on the rim, it says established in 1842, America's oldest lager beer. And it says that all around. So that's really, really fun. And, or you could just hold it like this, bring all your friends drinks, like you're a waiter at a pub. And I'm only asking $12 for it. So if you would like the Schaefer beer tray, I should probably show you a bit of damage on the back here. There's some light scratching. I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera or not, but it is $12 and it's number four if you're interested. $12, number four, for the Schaefer Bruriana tray. Would I rather go to a brewery or a wine tasting? You know, I like my... I'm not much of a wine drinker. Mom actually introduced me into a... It's called Rebels... Is it Rebels Roost? Not Rebels Roost. That's an antique mall out in New Oxford. It's called... Adams Town Country. Mom, what is the name of that wine that you um, bought that I really like that's sweet? Okay, so that's the non-sold pile. See, it's 
See, I like a bit of both. Like, I'd like to see what's bitter. Rebel Red, if you guys ever see it, it's really, really good. It's not too sweet. Actually, it's sweet to me, but I because I like it. I can't do bitter stuff. Like, bitter to me is... Ugh. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm knocking stuff all over the place here. Yes, that's it right here, if any of you all are interested. Excuse me. Gettysburg Adams County Wine. So I have a deck of cards here. Again, this is something I picked up fairly recently. Hi, Pamela13. And it is a set of playing cards here by Kent. We got the groovy looking bird tree over here and we've got a cat. Now I did count these and there are 54 cards in each. Now I do wanna let you know the case is broken. Right up here, it's all cracked up and it is cracked in the back corner here. But the cards themselves are in good shape. And it even has a mark or like a sticker on here. Plastic coated playing cards. If you are a crafter or if you're like Precious Lavender Buttons who has a booth, playing cards make really good tags for your antique booth. Pudgy Picker does it, or at least I thought she did it. And a few other people I know who've had booths in the past or still have a booth will do that. If a, like a deck is incomplete or something like that and they get them really cheap. But these are complete, so I hope they get some good use or you can do whatever the heck you'd like with them. And the two packs, or the two pack playing card is six bucks, so essentially three dollars a deck. And it's number six. Six dollars, number six for the groovy kitty and partridges in a pear tree. No, that's Christmas. Six dollars, number six for the playing cards. Rebel Red, is it a dessert wine? It's it's sweeter, like it's sweeter wine. It's not like so, mom, you might have to describe how it is because I've only had it that one time and I like the taste of it because it literally was like taste or drinking juice, but if you can describe it. Okay. So I have one of these. It's one of those, I forget who makes it, Jeanette, clear glass powder dishes with a deer on it. No cracks, no chips, smooth as can be. It might just have some scratches in the glass, but other than that, this piece is in pristine condition. Would look great for spring, summer, and fall, if I do say so myself. I don't, nope, no cracks, chips, nothing. This thing is perfect. Not as sweet as Moscato, but it is sweet, Book Bewitched. But it is tasty. Would look great with coins, candy. And yes, Katie is confirming that it is Jeanette. I had an elephant one a while back, but then I saw the deer and I'm like, oh, I've never seen that one before. And the Jeanette Deer Powder Dish, or Powder Box, is $14, and it's number 10. $14, number 10, for the Jeanette Deer Glass Powder Dish. I'm not making anybody dizzy by doing this. All right, I see Mo Official. Thank you, Mo. Thank you again for that. I appreciate it. I've got another really neat industrial piece that I picked up not that long ago. This is an airway attach a carrier. I believe this was for vacuum parts at one point in time, but there are no longer vacuum pieces to go in this. I can see if you're an artist putting your paintbrushes in here or so many possibilities with this. I don't know that you could probably stick washcloths in it if you put it in your bathroom. 
there are so many possibilities with some of this old stuff. But the industrial look and the color is really nice on it, too. Let me take the tag off of here. Now, this does have some issues. I mean, it's older, so the paint is going to be a little bit worn on it. But overall, for the age of it, it's in pretty decent shape. And I love the color, again. Now, it does have this, I think this was the handle here, where you would carry it around with the heavy-duty vacuum. But again, so many possibilities with it. Paint brushes, pens, whatever you want to do with it. I think paint brushes would be good in this. Oh yeah, trust me. You haven't yet you have yet to meet me, Mo or Mazzy. I do have I've got plenty of issues, trust me. And this awesome piece can be yours for $15. $15, number 16, for the Airway Attach a Carrier. $15, number 16, for the Killer Cool Light, I don't know, what's that, like a grayish green Airway Attach a Carrier. And I see Katie from Vintage and Vinyl picking that up. Katie, thank you. I will just go ahead and weigh this and just charge you for the shipping on that, Katie, because I have a box of stuff that I need to send to you anyway, so I'll just throw that in and make sure it gets out ASAP. Stand for a big bar. Yeah, there you go. I like that idea. Okay. Now, I've never seen a planter like this before. But I thought it was really cool and that I should pick it up. It's a raccoon. I like the way his eyes are painted because it almost makes him look like he's a burglar or a robber. Heck, maybe he's robbing the squirrel of all their nuts. I don't know. It is marked fine quality Japan on that foil sticker right there. Which is really awesome. No cracks, no chips. Actually, I take that back. There is a chip right here on the log right there. And there is some paint loss on some of the parts of the birch there, but this is an older planter. But it is a decent size, and again, as an Eagle Scout, I should know, be prepared, but clearly I wasn't. But it's a decent size. You could put one of those, oh, what... Mom, you used to grow these. It's the, oh, spider plants. Like, you could put a spider plant in here and watch it grow out. Or, again, you could put this on your desk and put your pens in here. Well, maybe it's a little deep for pens, but even still. It would look great for fall decor. And it's just overall cute because you don't see raccoon planters very often. That's why I grabbed this one. Hi, Chris Mulder. Thank you for coming on tonight. And the adorable raccoon planter is fifteen dollars fifteen dollars number 15 and i see nancy this overstuffed house just popped in hi nancy i hope you're doing well so fifteen dollars number 15 for the cutesy raccoon uh what's this called planter and i see four sandy's lilacs thank you sandy and Sue, yes, both my brother and I did make it to Eagle Scout. Yeah, it's a really big accomplishment. Not a lot of people I remember from, like, because we were in Scout, like, Cub Scouts, like, for years. And I remember a lot of the kids that joined our, our little, it was called Pack at the time. And then when you go to a, when you enter middle school, you go to a troop. And I remember a lot of the kids just didn't, they didn't last long. Hi, New England Thrifter. Okay. I think we're down to, oh no, I have, I have a few other things that I forgot all about. Now this would look great framed in a kitchen or just put with a bunch of like picnic type items, which people have in the spring and summer. This is a 1946 Gilbert Portable Electric World Beater instructions booklet. Look at the plaid. That's, that reminds me of a picnic. And I love the image of the lady testing out the product on the front cover. And on the front, or in here, it is marked 1946 by the A.C. Gilbert Co. 
I love that graphic. So this is like right after World War II. Yeah, it's very true, LJ. I, I remember some people, even in my troop, didn't make it that long. Oh, so you had a shot Friday to stop spasms. It didn't work, but did block a lot of the pain. Well, that's good. At least the pain is gone. It's still improvement, but still can't move much. Yes, you will definitely get there, Nancy. I'm wishing you all the best. So this awesome pamphlet is in really good shape. There's nothing really significantly wrong um, other than the fact that there is like some darker marks on the creases. But you can make butter cakes in here. You can do cake frostings. That's why it's called a world of beat. And this awesome piece can be yours for $4, $4, and it's number two, $4, number two, for the Gilbert World Beater. What was that? <laughs> yes, dad actually did push me pretty hard to get that. Thing. I I will tell you, though, when I was 17, 18, when I was ready to be out of public school, I got pretty stubborn. And I just, I didn't want to go to meetings anymore and things like that. Keep your son motivated, Mo, though, because he will, he will definitely make it if he is, if he perseveres and he gets there. Trust me, it's, it's a really good accomplishment. It looks good on college applications and even job applications, too. So keep him motivated, and he will definitely make it. And I see Sue just popped in. Hi, Sue. Okay. What else do I? Have? Oh, these are really fun. And I thought I had the ticket. I know I wrote it down. Oh, you know what? I wrote it on here. So I do have some arcade cards. Yeah, I will tell you, Virginia. I was ready to be out of public school. I was sick of teen, I will tell you, I hated teenagers when I was a teenager. Let's just put it at that. So I have some Western Penny Arcade cards, which is, which are really cool. So, okay, Nancy Sun's troop was 116th Eagle Scout. That's awesome. The troop started in 52. Older Scouts always say when you make Eagle to young ones so they can start off thinking it's just what you do. Absolutely. So I've got, how many of them do I have? Five? There's a four. Oh boy, it should be four. Okay. I'm going to have to change the price on that because I thought there were five here. This one I think is the coolest. It's Lone Ranger. And I love the images of this. That would be great. Put in a flower frog with Halloween because of those colors. It's marked made in the US. So we got that one. We have Rod Cameron. This one is, wow, I can't even make that up. Zehun, Max Zehun. You guys are gonna have to uh, correct me on that one. Maybe it's Tefoon, I don't know. Tefuni. And then we have this paneled one here. Uh, paneled just means they have like four images in one. The pinup ones will have six, but I guess the Western ones just had four. Hey, Uncle Andy. So this one has W.M. Boyd, Jack Randall. Oh, Gene Autry and, uh, I was about to say Trigger. It's definitely not Trigger. That's Roy Rogers' uh, horse. Champ. Gene Autry and Champ. Hey, Delbert. And then Rod Cameron, of course, which you just saw. One of the larger cards. So th these are really neat. I love collecting the pinup arcade cards. They're easy to find. Well, they're just fun to collect is what I should say. So I did write that I had five on here. So let me change this real quick because I completely butchered it and we are out of focus, aren't we? There we go. 
So it is not going to be that. Okay. So for the four arcade cards, you get the four of them. These four. I'm asking $8. I originally was asking 10 because I thought there were five of them, but there are not. So there are four Western Penny Arcade cards for eight bucks. That's $2 a piece. And you can have them by putting in number 17. $8, number 17 for the Western Arcade cards. Yeah, see, let me tell you, my teen years were, oof, I was a very difficult teen. Not as bad as some, but, yeah, it, it can be difficult, especially in those teen years. But I'm telling you, it took a lot of pushing, but I'm glad that Dad did push me through that. Because if not, I know I probably wouldn't be where I am today without it. My email, Irene, is, here, I'll type it in the chat for you. It does. And motivation. Because by the time I was, oh uh, yeah, it was, my senior year was brutal to me. And Katie also put it in there. Thank you, Katie. So again, um, $2 a piece, $8, number 17 for the Western Arcade cards. I will put those down here. Okay, so what else do we have? Oh, you know what? I'm a dope. There are five of them. Lord have mercy. Here's another one. <laughs> and this one has Ray Corrigan, Charles Bickford, Wild Bill Elliott, and Jim McCoy. We can, we can come back to that, though. I have my Eagle Scout uniform. I went through a lot of them because I grew really tall, especially as I hit my, I started really growing when I was in high school. Like I remember there were kids taller than me in sixth grade. And then by the time I hit high school, I over, I like towered over them. It was crazy. Okay. So I think we are down. Did I grab five offer up items? I hope I did. Maybe it was just a couple. Yep, so here's one, two. Maybe I only did, maybe we only have three offer up items tonight. That's okay though. So I have these, which are really fun. I shared them in my last sale. Someone did claim one. They are the Dime Store Pearl Necklaces. I believe they were made for. England because it says mummy, M-U-M-M-Y, like, you know, the mummy, instead of mommy with an O. I wonder if maybe this was a British colony at the time of the, of the making of these, but they are still fun. They are great for junk jars if you want to start one of them. Trust me, I've got two and probably a third of junk jars, and they are just fun to buy. So I have two of these left, if anybody is interested, and I am asking $4 each, and they're number 17. Oh, <laughs> so are the penny cards. I wasn't paying attention, but that's okay. I'll know exactly what we're, uh, what we're doing down there. So $4, number 17, for one of the dime store necklaces. Yeah, I can understand that. My dad is a um, bus route supervisor, and he has to deal with kids and parents. So fun. So we got those. I do have another paperweight. Again, this was from last week's sale. It's one of those whales. It's kind of like a yellowish amber color. And it does not glow under the black light, unfortunately. It does have a lot of controlled bubbles in it. I think it's Volacante, if I'm not mistaken. That's what controlled bubbles are called. But I could be wrong. <laughs> you went to Mean Girl High. Have you ever seen the movie Mean Girls? 
Again, this would look great in a coastal themed room. Oh, bus, trust me, bus drivers have it bad. I would, I would get fired within a day because I just wouldn't be able to tolerate people's crap. <laughs> yeah, teachers, EMTs, all those people don't get paid nearly enough for what they do. So the whale paperweight is $8, $8, and it's number two. $8, number two. This is made of glass, Book Bewitched. We had Felician nuns teaching us. What about, oh. Yeah, nuns don't play. <laughs> yeah, I was definitely more friendly with the teachers. I mean, they, yeah, it's just how things are. I mean, I had my little group of friends, like my freshman and sophomore years. And then, you know, when all of my friends started doing the clubs, which I had absolutely no interest in, I just kind of did my own thing. At lunchtime, I'd be in the library on the computer watching forensic files if there was a computer open because I was really, really into it at the time. Not that I'm not now, but I've seen pretty much every episode that they made. A guy was swallowed by a whale. I didn't hear about that. I have a 1981 Garfield Gains Weight. I think it's like a comic book kind of a thing. Giuseppe. <laughs> In really good shape. There's a little bit of scuffing on the back. But overall, and then, you know, of course, the spine's got some wear to it. Whale is glass. Yes, the whale is glass. And this piece can be yours for $4. It's from 1981, and it's number 25 if you're interested. $4, number 25 for the Garfield book. And that can go media mail because it's a book. We only had one nun. People were afraid of her. She made us kneel down, and she would measure our skirts three inches below the knee. or Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think I would have made it in Catholic school. <laughs> Thank God I never attended. That's okay. Have a good night, Kylie. I understand. Believe me, I'm tired too. Okay. So I do have an elephant wall plaque that I did not sell last sale. So I'm giving it another try here at this one. It's, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like a plasticky type material. There is some damage on the back and there's some paint loss near the trunk there. Where finger can point it, right there. But overall, it's still in really, really good condition. And it does have a hook for you to hang on the back. Lobster Diver claims he was in a whale mouth for 30 seconds with regular. Okay, that's interesting. And you can have the elephant wall plaque for eight bucks, eight dollars, and it is number one. Eight dollars, number one for the elephant. Pleated wool skirts with blazers. Hmm. Wool sounds very itchy. So eight bucks, number one. If anyone's interested. All right. I also still have, as a result, we had, oh my gosh. Whoa. We're from Maryland, Stephanie. I do have the Black Beauty horse planter that did not sell last time. Ew, I couldn't imagine that. Cheerleader skirts and, ew, that's, unless it was winter time, I could understand that. 
but I couldn't imagine that in the summer. Ugh. Hi, Mary, Ancestral Beginnings. No cracks, no chips to this beautiful horse. And you can have, I, keep, I always forget to mention this. I don't know if that's a crack right there, if it's just part of how it was made, but it doesn't affect it. It's on the bottom anyway. And the horse is $12 and it's number 18. $12, number 18 for the Black Beauty horse planter. Would look great for Halloween. Hi, Terry. Oh, you did. Okay, awesome. I hope everything arrived okay. So $12, number 18 for the Black Beauty horse, if anybody's interested. Okay. All right, so this also didn't sell the last time. And the Terry Pop and hi Terry Candeloro. And I thought it was just raindrops on a vase, but no, it's actually a watermelon vase, as everyone told me. And I originally thought that it was like real cr uh, cranberry glass and not flashed, but it is flashed. If you look at it in the light, you can see some of the cranberry faded away. Kind of hard to see with the camera. Oh no, there you can kind of see it. But from a distance, you don't really see it. Like I can't even see the flash gone from the angle I'm looking at it right now. But you do see like this little line right here. Again, hard to see on camera, but it is there. And where did I put the price? Oh, it's right here. No cracks, no chips, would look great, displayed with a bunch of summer things, considering I guess it is a watermelon vase. And it is $8, and it is number six. $8, number six, for the watermelon vase. No cracks, no chips, by the way. Okay, so two, well, my last three items tonight are going to be offer-ups, and then since we do have a lot more time tonight, because I, I guess I kind of flew right through this stuff, we will go ahead and go over the stuff that didn't sell. So the first group of items that I have, I have some turf cigarette cards from last sale that didn't move. Uh, we've got the koala, or no, that's a lemur, sorry. Lemur, I've got a Bactrian camel. I've got a Senegal chameleon. You like to focus on the other ones, why aren't you doing it? There we go. And then I also have the koala. So there are five of them. Or is it four? That's four. So I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna start these at $8. So if anybody's interested, you gotta go higher than eight. So you can start we're starting these out at $8 if anybody's interested. Again, they do have wear and tear to them because, you know, they are older. But they are fun to collect. There are so many different series out there. I sold the insect ones last week. And I kept the celebrity ones because those were the ones that I really wanted.
So do I have any interest in those? If not, it's not a big deal. If And we'll just do a flat price afterwards. So do I not see anybody interested in the cigarette cards once, twice? And I'll go ahead and put no sale. That is perfectly okay. So we will move on. Did I put the keyword in here? Now this, I have a fairy lamp for you all tonight. If you saw my preview on Instagram, I found this one a while ago, and it is by Royal Limited. It is 24% full lead crystal made in the Czech Republic. I don't know how old this is, maybe 70s, 80s, 90s possibly. Let me go ahead and turn the light off so you guys can see this better. Now, there are no cracks or chips to either the shade or the stand itself. And it's it's a little bit heavier, and it is two pieces. Well, the other fairy lamps are two pieces, but the lamp itself is like a stem, almost like a lamp kind of a feel. Yeah, I don't think I want to hear any of those stories. I'm sure they were pretty brutal. And it's a really nice piece. I'm sure there's some Fairyland collector out there who does not have this one and would absolutely love to have it. Great for all year because clear glass is, you know, can be used all year. So we are going to start this fairy lamp out at $12. So if anyone's interested, all you have to do is type in $12. It's a nice piece, scalloped edge on the top and then on the bottom. I don't think there's any cracks or chips to it. So I see Book Bewitched is at $13. A nice heavy duty lamp. And again, it looks great all year, spring, summer, fall, or winter. No cracks, no chips. So I see Delbert is at 14. And again, this is a nice, it's he definitely heavy, even with the shade off of it. The base is a little bit on the heavier side. So Book Bewitched is at $15. And there is a Royal Limited sticker on here. Let me show you that. Whoop. It's right there. Royal Limited. And again, it does say 24% full lead crystal made in the Czech Republic. Whoa. All right, so LG is out. Thank you very much. Um, let me see if I can get my scale and I'll let you know how much it weighs. Hold on. I think my scale is right under here. Scale's over here. Uh, without packing, it's about two pounds and six ounces. So I'll have to factor in the shipping. Okay. But again, such a nice piece. I don't think anybody's ever offered one of these ones before. Oh, that's awesome.
So we have Book Bewitched at $18, and Delbert is out. Thank you very much. So $18 is what you have to beat. All right, so I don't see any more offers for this. So I'm going to go ahead and start calling it. So Book Bewitched has it at 18 going once. Book Bewitched has it at 18 going twice. And sold to Book Bewitched for $18. Thank you very much. Turn off my tea light here. Okay, and my last item for the night is a piece of treasure craft. I just recently picked these up. I think I shared them in my premiere. I have these awesome, awesome Hawaii salt and pepper shakers in the shape of pineapples. Oh, let me turn my black, or black light on. Turn my ring light back on so you guys can see these better. Here's what they look like. They're for Hawaii. So do not, both of them do not have corks. This one unfortunately is chipped on the bottom. When you turn it this way, you can't even see the chip. So it's on the bottom there. You could probably touch that up. Both are marked TC USA on the bottom there. Let me show you all the base. The base has got floral detail all over it. Would look great on a tiki bar. And they are just absolutely cool. So again, before we start the offer up, just note that one of the shakers is chipped on the bottom, but you can't really see it. Or can you? Yeah, you, it's kind of like noticeable right there, but again, it's so minor from this angle. It's just when you turn it upside down that the damage is noticeable. So for these, we are going to start them we're going to start these at $12. If you have a tiki bar, again, these would be absolutely fantastic for your porch. And they are just super, super fun and funky and very 1960s, 1970s. And it is marked Treasure Craft USA on the bottom. Oh, let me pull that off of here. Really nice pieces. I've never seen these ones before. All right, so Deborah Saunders says she will pop in at $12. Thank you very much. So Deborah Saunders is at $12 for these. Again, Deborah, I don't know if you were here when I showed the little significant damage on here, but there is a minor chip on one of the shakers, and it's not really noticeable when you put it this way, but when you turn it upside down, it is there. Yes, you can, Kim. I just need your information sent to SkullKing95680 at yahoo.com. I will go ahead and insert it into the chat for you. Just make sure you include your name, YouTube name, PayPal, email, and your shipping address so I know where to ship this to if you claim the item. In my Brooklyn neighborhood, we had six Catholic 
SC hoops. Now there's only one left. They turn the other schools into apartments. Okay, I've seen that before. So we have Deborah Saunders at $12 for the pineapple treasure craft salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> You're allergic to wool, Katie. I I don't know what I'm allergic to anymore. So again, a really fun tiki vibe set here. And again, we do have Deborah Saunders at $12. Ooh, make sure the chat didn't jump on me here. So I have Deborah Saunders at 12 for these. Really great, funky. These would look good with tiki, boho. I mean, it's just an awesome piece, an awesome set of salt and pepper shakers for the summertime. So Kim did ask if she wanted to bid. Yeah, you can, Kim, of course. Just make sure you send my your information to me after the sale. That's absolutely okay. We're just waiting on an answer here. So Kim just wanted to know if she could make an offer. So that's why we're still on this one. Okay, so Kim put in $15. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. So we have Kim at $15 for the really awesome Treasure Craft Pineapple Salt and Pepper Shakers. Again, fantastic piece for your tiki bar, or if you're into boho, that these would look great with your boho stuff. If you do boho, tiki sort of a thing. You did at the last big earthquake in California? No way. Well, I'm happy you're getting a chance to win them. And they're relatively light too. I don't think these are gonna cost very much to ship. Maybe like a pound, so it might be priority. Or maybe, no, you can do first class with a pound, can't you? Yeah, if it's a pound or less, you can do first class. Well, I am really glad that you're getting a chance to win these, Kim, because I know I'm sure you're loving seeing these again. So we do have Kim at $15. So is there anybody else who would like to make an offer? Because if not, we are going to go ahead and call it. You will need to buy some stoppers for them, but I think you can get them at craft stores, if I'm not mistaken, Michaels or something like that. And you can get replacement stoppers for them. So we have Kim at 15 going once. Oops. We have Kim at 15 going twice. And sold to Kim for $15. Thank you very much. And I am so thrilled that you were able to get a replacement set after losing yours in the earthquake. I'm beyond thrilled that it's going to go to someone who had a set. Well, Deborah, I, I think that is really nice. Thank you. I will be very careful with those to make sure that you get those safely as possible. So guys, we do have quite a bit of time before Pam's sale. You want me to go ahead and go over everything that didn't sell? I'm not going to make it too long so that way you guys have a little bit of a break to get up and stretch and get some food because I'll be doing that after I get off of here. Okay. So we will start with the fishy paperweight. It's a little rough on the nose, but I don't, I don't know if it's chipped or not. It might be like lightly chipped, but not by too much. Really nice black and white. It almost looks like a zebra fish. That's what I was trying to think of and say earlier. It's almost like a zebra type fish. And the light, 
zebra fish paperweight is eight dollars and it is number 25 eight dollars number 25 for the fish the zebra fish paperweight and again if something doesn't sell after sharing it on here you can always email me the status of an item and if you're interested in it you can always email me and we can work something out Will do. Thank you, Kim. And I'm again, I'm really, really thrilled that you're able to replace that set that you lost. So I do have this elephant. Again, it does have some condition issues and you've already seen the number and price. So again, some issues back here and right here and right here. If anyone's interested, it is $8 and it is number one. $8, number one for the elephant wall plaque. Okay, so I do have that whale, like that yellowish amber whale paperweight. And this is also $8, and it is number two. $8, number two for the whale paperweights. All right, Mo, thank you very much, Mo. I have that whiskey bottle that says federal law forbids sale or reuse of this bottle with the faded blue um, lid. The lid is, oh, it's metal. I think it's metal. No, it's plastic, sorry. And the bottle is $6, number 18. $6, number 18 for the amber glass. I think it's a whiskey bottle, somebody said. $6, number 18. Would look great with industrial stuff, for sure. Okay, let's put that up here. So I do have some tape tins. I really like the look of this tuck cellophane tape tin. Yeah, right, Albert. It's um, what Grandpa called his back medicine. So this tuck tape cellophane tape tin is in really good condition. I love the bright red and the font of the letters. That is so fun. And this is from 1956. It is marked on the back marked right there 56 I think June of 56 and it is going to be eight dollars and it's number 16 eight dollars number 16 for the tuck cellophane tape tin would look great with Halloween displays I would say because of the nice bright sharp red so Katie from vintage and vinyl got that thank you Katie I have another tape tin. This one is for Aconite tape, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This was by the Aconite Company in Passaic, New Jersey. And this one has a little bit more wear and tear to it, but it is older. I love the yellow, like the yellow and the red look really cool together. And this one, too, is $8. And this one is number 20. $8, number 20 for the yellow and black Aconite tape tin. I was about to say dispenser. Tape tin. All right, so Katie from Vintage and Vinyl also gets number eight. Thank you very much, Katie. All right, so I also have those five arcade cards, if anybody's interested. 
there were five of them. I'm a dope. And one of them just got lost underneath the, uh, all the stuff that I had on the table. So I will still go ahead and do them for $8. Again, I'll show them to you all. They do have creases on some of them and you know, they are older. So we've got the four paneled one. We have just a single cowboy right here. This is Max Tarahuni. I don't know. We've got this one with Rod Cameron on it. That one's also part of a four panel. Then we've got this one for the Lone Ranger, which I think would look great for Halloween. That one's not focusing. There we go. And then we've got another paneled one. And we've got on this one, we've got W.M. Boyd, Jack Randall, Gene Autry and Champ, and we've got Rod Cameron, which is, you guys just saw another card of those. So those five cards are $8. And it's number 17 if you're interested. $8, number 17 for the Western Arcade cards. Okay. So I still also have two of those Dime Store necklaces. For $4 each, they're number 17. So if you would like one, you just type in number 17. Or if you'd like both of them, I might be able to work out a deal with you. So if you want both of them, instead of eight, I'll take $6 for both, knocking them down to $3 each. So if you want just one, it'll be four. Or if you want both of them, you can have both of them for $6, number 17. I have the Garfield book for $4, number 25, Garfield gains weight. If anybody's interested, All right, Karen Dondelinger. Thank you very much, Karen. All righty. I also have this really awesome 1946 Gilbert Whirly Beater instruction and test recipes pamphlet for $4. It's number two. Again, would look great in a flower frog displayed with a bunch of thermoses or any other kind of kitchen appliance from that era. Oh, Garfield, you're right. So $4, number two for this one. I know, right? Way cool advertising. Okay. I also have those playing cards. One with the really groovy looking colors, and then we've got the one with the cat on it. So those are $6 and it's number six for the two decks. So essentially $3 a deck and they both do have 54 cards in each. So $6, number six for the playing cards and the case is cracked and chipped and broken in some places, but still does hold the cards themselves. And I do see Karen Dondelinger for that one as well. Thank you very much. Okay, and the last item that did not sell is that really cool Schaefer Bruriana tray. Overall, in really good condition, there is some scratching and things like that because this is an older piece. But if you love to serve up drinks or you just like to display this kind of stuff on a wall, you could put a plate stand on it, one of those ones that has a spring in it and you can hang it on the wall. Or if you have a bar, I mean, hey, why not put this in your bar? Put it behind the counter. 
And I'm only asking $12 for this one. $12 and it's number four for the Schaefer beer tin. I don't think there are any dents or anything in it, but it's just scratched up a little bit. So $12 and it's number four if anybody's interested. Serve up some drinks this summer, y'all. And then I also do have those four animal cigarette cards. We've got the lemur, we've got the Bactrian camel, we've got the Senegal chameleon, and we have the koala bear. And I will take $8 for the four of them if anybody's interested in them. So just put in number 20 if you would like the four of these. And these can go media. They're very, very light. So $4, number 20 for those. No, $8, number 20, if anybody's interested. <laughs> I was thinking of something else. Really neat images. I love them. Hi, Jeannie. All right, so Mary would like these. Thank you, Mary. And I know you bought that other set for me, so... Awesome. You're going to love those. Okay, you guys. So I do want to let you know. So if you are watching the replay, the Schaefer beer tin or beer tray did not sell this go around. The 1946 world beater pamphlet did not sell. The dime store pearl necklaces did not sell. The whiskey bottle did not sell. The watermelon vase did not sell. And the elephant and the horse planter did not sell. So if you happen to be interested in those, you can always email me. Again, I will put my email in the chat as well. It is in the description for those of you all watching the replay today. So you can always ch uh, email me about the status of an item if you're interested. And I will probably have one more sale next week. I do have my fun trip coming up at the end of the month. So I just like to build up a little bit of extra cha-ching for that. So that's why I'm doing multiple sales this month. But that is everything for tonight, guys. Thank you all very much for coming on and supporting me, buying some stuff from me. I will definitely have some more stuff. Hopefully very soon. I mean, it's not like I've run out of inventory, but I want to keep some fresh stuff coming in. So again, I do appreciate you all being here tonight. Make sure you all go check out Pam's sale. It does start in about half an hour. Trisha from Sandy and Auto also does have a sale as well. The link to both of them are down below. So make sure you all check them out. Subscribe to them. Both of them offer really great items. And I will see you all later. And I'm sure I'll pop in on Pam's sale up for just a little bit. And then I'm probably going to hit the hay because I have some sourcing I'm going to do tomorrow. So again, I will see you all later. Take care. And I should have invoices done by either tomorrow night or Monday night. We will see what happens. Thank you all again and be safe.